Hey everyone, this is Aaron with Arclight Dynamics. We're here today with Jim Colt talking about hypertherm plasma cutters, why they're the best in the world, and why they're the best to pair with an Arclight Dynamics CNC plasma system. I'm going to talk today about some of the specifics of the software that we include with our CNC plasma systems. The first of which is a program called QCAD. QCAD is our dimensional drafting program, and with this software you can quickly and easily produce any parts that you need to create. Anything that's going to be dimensionally specific can easily be drafted up in QCAD. Very easy system to learn and to operate. Additionally, we also offer Inkscape. Inkscape is provided with our CNC systems for producing artwork. This vector art program is used to convert images that have been created with other programs. Any file formats like JPEG, Bitmap, TIFF, PNG can all be converted to a DXF file using Inkscape. So we're going to use Inkscape to convert a wide variety of different file formats into the DXF format, which we're primarily going to import into SheetCam. SheetCam is the CAM software that we utilize to create our cut paths. This is where you're going to import multiple parts. You can then nest these parts together and automatic, automatically array them across your sheet. SheetCam is a very powerful program, and this program can be used to uh, rotate, flip, duplicate, copy parts. You can import multiple parts into this program, nest them together, and then array them across your entire sheet. So here in SheetCam, once you've imported your drawing into the job, you can then assign it a cutting operation utilizing any of the tool sets that we've programmed in for you. We've utilized the cut charts from the Hypertherm manual. We've programmed all of that information in, the pierce height, the pierce delay, the cut height, the feed rate. All of this information has been programmed in for you so that you merely select the tool, which includes the amperage of the nozzle that you have installed, and the thickness and type of material that you're going to be cutting with. So this tool set that you have over here has already been set up for you. Additionally, that sets up your digital torch height control parameters so that your torch follows along with any variations in the height of your material. We've utilized Hypertherm's cut charts to produce this tool set so that you don't have to program in all of these settings yourself. It makes the system a lot easier to use and operate. The functionality of SheetCam also includes path rules. These path rules are specifically set up to control your cut parameters, to give you the best quality round bolt holes, to give you the best quality cut lines for your artwork. These path rules allow you to set up individual parameters for small circles, sharp corners, or any other parameters that you need to get the most detailed, accurate cuts on. Additionally, in SheetCam, it also has the soft pierce functionality. This soft pierce functionality is part of the ArcSync technology that is controlled through your Hypertherm Plasma Cutter's serial interface. The soft pierce function allows you to set a lower amperage pierce so that it reduces wear and tear on your consumables. That's going to save you money. So we're going to talk about Command CNC. Command CNC is our main operating program. This is your machine operation program that you load your G-code into. We've created our G-code using SheetCam, and we load it into Command CNC. This is going to show us the code that tells the motors where to go, tells the torch when to fire. This also shows us our live display. This is going to visually show us what parts have been cut and what parts still need to be cut. Here in Command CNC, we have a number of different functions. For instance, if we had an error on pierce or an error on cut, for instance, if someone had uh, forgotten to turn the compressor on this morning and we run through all the air in the tank and then our torch extinguished, if that happens, you can quickly and easily return to that spot in the code just by clicking on the traverse line between parts. By selecting the traverse line, it's going to light that up in the G code and show you exactly where you're at in the code so you can recover from that error continue cutting without messing up your whole sheet of steel. So an Arclight Dynamics table is a very, very versatile table. We want to produce a product that is going to allow you to do any job any customer brings you. That means we have a lot of different accessory packages for our CNC systems. Our most popular accessory package is this plate marker engraver package that you see here. This pneumatic engraver allows you to mark plates with the carbide tip engraver pen. This is a very popular package for both industrial and artistic use. We see a lot of folks using it for bend lines as well as marking drill points. A lot of artists use it to add more dimension to their artwork. Another very popular package is our pipe cutter. We offer a tubing cutter that allows you to turn your plate cutting CNC system into a tube cutting CNC system. This rotary capability allows you to do up to eight inch diameter pipe. So whether you're doing rock sliders for your Jeep 
or just doing some uh, uh, railings for your house. It's a very, very useful accessory package to have. You can also get one of our CNC systems with the wood router package. The wood router package isn't just for wood either. You can use it for hard or soft woods as well as composites. You can use it for PVC, UHMW, ABS plastic. A lot of our automotive guys like to use this for creating door skins. Another accessory package that is very popular is our auto tracer. This auto tracer scope that you see here comes with software with edge following technology. This auto tracer scope mounts in place of the torch right on the magnets here and allows you to trace in any cardboard templates. For instance, if you're doing a 4x4 buggy and you need to create a door skin for it, you can create that door skin out of cardboard and then trace that cardboard with the auto tracer scope. That's going to allow you to quickly and easily digitize that shape and then you can recreate it in steel or aluminum in minutes.